<laughs> CBS 2 meteorologist Damala Dapp is in for Jackie Johnson tonight. She has our optimistic forecast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to be optimistic, <laughs> Pat and Paul, but we are expecting some changes, and I would still call today perfect, but again, things are about to change. First and foremost, we do have a dense fog advisory that's going to kick in at 6 o'clock this evening. That's going to be for the Orange County coastline, but pretty much everybody along the coast expecting that fog. So again, this kicks in at 6. It lasts through 9 o'clock. That's 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Satellite radar not showing a whole lot in the way of cloud cover. In fact, we've seen clear conditions inland and a little cloudier and hazier in the basin and also at the coast. And again, the cloud cover will continue to build over the next 24 hours. Temperatures falling a bit over the next 24 hours as well. Currently, we're in the 40s, 50s, but mostly the 60s. 61 downtown, 63 as we head to Pasadena this afternoon or evening, rather 64 in Van Nuys and 59 currently in Santa Monica. So we're going to show you how much cooler it's going to get. Plus, we do have a chance of rain on the way. That's something we haven't discussed in a while, but don't worry. We will discuss it. Paul, back to you. Back. Oh, didn't you? <laughs> no, I was trying to get the Niners, you know, a little momentum oh. there, and it worked. See? <laughs> almost. Not quite at the end. Yeah. But not, we came not close. Quite. Not quite. Yeah. But it counts for something. It was right? an interesting game. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great game. It was a great game. So I'll give it that. Uh, and we've got a great Monday following the game. Take a look at what's happening outside right now. We've got plenty of sunshine, clear skies, a little bit of cloud cover. And other than that, just gorgeous conditions out there earlier today. It was quite mild, even warm in some spots, but we are bracing for some changes in the forecast. First and foremost, we're looking at increasing cloud covers. We head into the overnight hours and the next couple of days. We've got a dense fog advisory kicking in for the Orange County coastline at six o'clock this evening, lasting through nine o'clock tomorrow morning. We've got cooler temperatures as a result, and we also have a chance of rain and possibly low elevation mountain snow on the way as well. 70 earlier in today in downtown average is 68 and record numbers 91. We didn't get anywhere too close to that, but we were above average and by tomorrow we're going to be a little cooler over the next 24 hours. Again, a little more cloud cover out there. Temperatures in the 50s, a foggy start, and by the afternoon we're at 65 degrees and we're calling it partly cloudy and you'll see that for your forecast right here on future cast except for 11 o'clock tonight and we are expecting to see a little more cloud cover you're going to see it starts to push inland a little bit into the early morning hours by 5 a.m. by 8 a.m. a little cloudier as well and you'll see by about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning the fog and the clouds not really budging by the afternoon we are expecting a partly cloudy forecast and then as we head into the next few days we're calling it mostly cloudy in fact by Thursday we could see more fog and we could possibly see a chance of drizzle in the forecast. Then by Friday, we're bracing for a chance of rain. And by Saturday, we're expecting drier conditions, partly cloudy. Can't see Sunday on your five day forecast, but I will tell you at this point, looks like offshore conditions are coming back and we're expecting more sunshine and also a warmer forecast. Also want to mention the mountains expecting low elevation snow. That chance kicks in late Thursday night and lasts through Saturday morning. Pat and Paul, back to you. All right. It's happening. Yeah, it's so much so we have a dense fog advisory. It's wow. starting to make its way oh, right there. Look yep. at that. There you go. Like. This advisory actually is for the Orange County coastline, but the LA County coastline, as we just saw in that shot, is also getting the fog. So there's a chance we could see an advisory go into place, but even if it doesn't, it's not ruling out the fog in the forecast because that's what we've seen. Uh, it's a little denser though in Orange County that kicks in in 15 minutes at six o'clock last through nine o'clock tomorrow morning, a quarter of a mile or less of visibility. So we'll have more on the fog and the forecast for the week. We're expecting cooler temperatures and a chance of rain. That's all in a bit. Back to you. And fog rolling in a cooler forecast and a chance of rain. We'll have all the details coming up. <laughs> What's going on with the weather? I was so excited. You were taking the weight right off my shoulders. But no, <laughs> I'll have to let you know what's going to happen in the forecast as we head into the next few days. I know a lot of you like the sunshine and the warm temperatures. That's all about to change. In fact, we're dealing with fog, fog at the coast right now in the shot of the pier in Santa Monica. We're dealing with a dense fog advisory along the Orange County coastline tonight, lasting through 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. No official advisory for the L.A. County coastline. But regardless, we're still seeing that fog roll in over the Santa Monica Bay and over a spots like Long Beach and PV. We're going to start to see some pretty dense.
overnight as well. 53 in Long Beach right now, 55 downtown, 57 in Van Nuys, Valencia 58, Riverside 57, right with a little cooler at 46. Earlier today downtown, you made it to 70 degrees. Average is 68, so we were above average technically, but by tomorrow we're going to be below average technically over the next 24 hours. We're down into the 50s, 50s and a foggy start in the morning by the afternoon. A little more sunshine, mild temperatures and mid 60s for you. 65 downtown Burbank, 64 Ontario, 67 Lancaster, 69 and Oxnard getting up to only 61 degrees for tomorrow. And if this looks cool to you, well, it's only going to get cooler as we head into the next few days. We'll show you exactly how cool and when we're expecting that chance of rain. That's not a rumor. There is a chance. We'll have all of that coming up in your extended forecast in just a little bit, so don't go away. Rick and Sharon, back to you. All right, Effie. Good performance. <laughs> yeah, she was quite hot. <laughs> that's a lot of, yeah. a lot oh, of yeah. energy there, there being expended. Go. Oh, she was hot. <laughs> you and that's all from the know viewers. That. <laughs> um. It was ah. amazing. And it was a good day to watch the uh, Super Bowl outside, if you could. It was a great day. <laughs> you know? and, uh, it wasn't the best day for Niners fans like myself. I know. But. I know. It ended up I was a lot game. better. Wanda I wasn't even quite game. paying attention to the game. I was really going through the, commercial? the commercials. Yeah, and of course. I have a very unique way of watching um, a football game. I think anyway, a lot of us so. do. I think a lot yeah. of us do. And so, half time. but but it was a, it was a great game, and you know a lot of fun things. Beyonce, yeah. the lights going out, all that good stuff. But back to reality today. Back to Monday, and it was a gorgeous day to sort of perfect. come off of a Super Bowl weekend. Yep, I would say perfect myself. But things are going to start to change a little bit as we head into the next few days. So we fog advisories along the Orange County coast. No official advisories along the LA County coastline, but even then, it's still very foggy. So take a look right here. We're in the 40s. We're looking at 50s in the forecast, 46 in Wrightwood, 55 Pasadena, 54 in Anaheim. And as you get a look at your weather headlines, you'll see increasing cloud cover. We've got that dense fog advisory for Orange County. It's already in effect, and it's staying in effect as we head into tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We're also expecting cooler temperatures and a chance of rain and low elevation snow in the forecast. Until then, temperature wise, we got to 70 in downtown earlier today. Average is 68, so uh, we were a little above average for this time of year, and over the next 24 hours, we're going to be below average, and we're keeping things below average for now. In fact, Burbank 64, Ontario 67, Lancaster 69, tomorrow Oxnard 61. We are expecting more cooling as high pressure continues to break down and move out of the forecast. Low pressure is going to start to creep in, and as it does, again, we are looking at the fog in the forecast now. We're going to see increased cloud cover across the board, and additionally, we're also so eyeing a chance of rain and snow by the end of the week. So there we go. Low pressure. You'll see uh, sitting to our north at this point and it looks like we are dealing with some showers over the Pacific Northwest. Eventually that could happen here at home. Remember, we could also see snow in the low elevations and we're going to see maybe even a little drizzle produced from all the cloud cover and fog we're seeing even before that chance of rain rolls in. So let's go look at your five day forecast and you'll see right here we're cooling down and we're mostly cloudy and we're still on the cooler side. By Thursday, chance of drizzle. It should be pretty foggy out there. By Friday, a chance of showers. By Saturday, looks to be a drier forecast for us. For the coast, we're cooling down, then we're calling it mostly cloudy. We've got a chance of drizzle in the forecast by your Thursday, chance of showers by Friday, and again, drier by the weekend. And finally, checking in with the valleys in the Inland Empire. We're flirting with the 70s tomorrow. We're hanging on to the warmer temperatures, but we're starting to cool down a little bit. Wednesday, Thursday, chance of drizzle. Friday, chance of showers. And Saturday, clearing out beautifully. We're even calling it sunny by the weekend. Good. Yeah. Just in time for the Grammy. Yes, Sharon and Rick. Great expectations, of course. All right, we've got a lot of things on our plate over the next few days. First of all, though, I want to show you this shot and sort of demonstrates what's going on. There's downtown. Can you see? Right there. Uh, so we are seeing a lot of fog, yeah, uh, building into the forecast. And this shot really just showing exactly what's happening out there. This is our Hollywood Hills camera. We generally can see the entire area. We can see most of downtown. Not the case right now. So very dense fog out there. No official advisory for the basin or the LA County coastline, but we do have an official advisory. Doesn't mean it's not foggy there, but yes, we do have an official advisory uh, for the Orange County coastline. And that's going to stay in effect through 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're expecting visibility down to a quarter of a mile or less. So use caution if you plan to be out on the roads. Currently temperatures are in the 40s and the 50s out there. 53 in Lancaster, 55 downtown, Santa Monica 54, Oxnard 54 as well, Long Beach at 53. And earlier today we made it to 70. 
Average is 68, so we were above average for this time of year. And over the next 24 hours, we're going to be a few degrees below average, pretty much across the board. 64 Burbank, Irvine 65, Lancaster 69, flirting with the 70s, so still mild. And Oxnard a little cooler at 61 degrees. We'll let you know what you can expect later in the week. I will tell you one thing, rain. That's a possibility. So we'll tell you when and where. All coming up in just a bit. Rick and Sharon, back to you. Thanks. Forecast. Yes. How about that? Okay. Yes, there we okay, go. We'll All right. That. We can check in with the forecast. Uh, we've got a lot of things to talk about tonight. LAX not showing you the whole weather story here, but there is some fog out there and it's starting to get very dense over parts of downtown over the basin, the Orange County coastline. In fact, we do have a dense fog advisory out there for the Orange County coastline and other spots along with Santa Monica Bay and in the basin starting to see some dense fog as well. Increasing clouds overall over the next couple of days. Temperatures starting to cool off tomorrow and they're going to continue to do so as we head into the rest of your work week along with a chance of rain and snow, low elevation snow in the forecast, possibly by late Thursday. And if you're wondering how low, possibly down to 3,000 feet. So that does mean the grapevine could be affected a little later. For now, we're keeping it dry. And earlier today, we kept it warm. We were above average for this time of year. And by tomorrow, temperatures are a little cooler. They're a bit below average, but they're still somewhat mild in most spots. Riverside 69, Ontario 67, Lancaster 69, and Irvine 65 degrees. The Ventura County coastline getting down into the low 60s. The valleys in the Inland Empire getting into the upper 60s for tomorrow and then getting a little cooler progressively for your Wednesday. A chance of drizzle by your Thursday and a chance of showers by your Friday. Looks like we are clearing out by your Saturday for the mountains. So you'll see the next couple days. We're going to keep it nice and sunny actually with temperatures in the 50s by Thursday, a mix of clouds and sun. But I do want to tell you by Thursday night, late Thursday into early Friday, there is a chance of not just snow, but low elevation mountain snow, possibly down to 3000 feet, three, 4000 feet at this point with maybe a few leftover flurries as we head into your Saturday for the basin in Orange County, six seas across the the board, but we're going from the mid 60s to the low 60s later in the week and finally checking in with the coast. Low 60s turning to 50s with a chance of showers materializing by your Friday. Looks to be a little drier by your Saturday. And remember, ahead of that chance of rain, we could even see a little bit of drizzle in the forecast. Back to you. All right, changes already taking place. In fact, fog rolling into the picture here at LAX, seeing a little bit of it, but other spots completely fogged in. In fact, we were even under a dense fog advisory uh, this evening. So it does look like the advisory was lifted for the Orange County coastline and it's in effect for the San Diego County coastline. But regardless, we're still looking at very foggy conditions out there. Temperatures currently in the 40s and the 50s, 54 Pasadena, 46 in Wrightwood, 56 right now in most parts of the IE and 55 right here at the broadcast center in Studio City. We do have some increasing clouds in the forecast. That dense fog advisory again just getting lifted, but we're still looking at dense fog out there. Cooler temperatures and a chance of rain and even snow on the way. Earlier today, we made it to 70 in downtown. Average is 68. Record number is 91. It didn't get anywhere too close to that. And over the next 24 hours, we're actually going to be a little below average for a change. 50s, mid 50s, and by the afternoon, mid 60s. 64 in Burbank, Ontario, a little warmer at 67. And Lancaster topping out tomorrow at 69 degrees. We are expecting more cooling in the forecast, and we are bracing for a chance of rain and low elevation snow. We'll show you when and where. That's all coming up in just a bit. Lena and Sylvia, back to you. Fog. Oh, what else, Evelyn? Uh, well, we are expecting some changes. In fact, already looking at them as we speak, a little cooler, a little cloudier. We've got some fog in the forecast as well. You're going to see that right there on the Santa Monica Pier. We did have an advisory for Orange County for the coastline, but it has been canceled. That doesn't mean we're not going to see the fog out there. Still looking at a foggy forecast. 40s and 50s for you. 54 in Pasadena, 53 Anaheim, 53 in Long Beach, and 53 for downtown. So we've got increasing cloud cover, a dense fog advisory, cooler temperatures, and a chance of not just rain, but maybe some low elevation mountain snow as we head toward the later part of the week. 70 earlier today in downtown. Average is 68 and record numbers 91 over the next 24 hours. 50 more 50s and by the afternoon we are in the mid 60s 65 degrees under mild temperatures Ontario tomorrow 67 Irvine 65 and Oxnard getting up to about 61 degrees 
as we head into tomorrow afternoon. For the valleys in the Inland Empire, we're still mild tomorrow, but we're gradually getting colder with a chance of showers by Friday and drier and clearer conditions by Saturday. For the mountains, we're expecting dry conditions until Thursday night. Overnight into Friday, we could see those snow levels drop down to 3,000 feet. We're looking at a chance of snow by Friday and by Saturday, some leftover flurries. And for the basin in Orange County, we're in the 60s and you're going to see a chance of showers by Friday. By Saturday, we're drying out and by Sunday, we'll tell you we're keeping conditions dry for the Southland. Lena and Sylvia, back to you. All right, bracing for rain and snow in the forecast. We'll have the details coming right up. Years old. Oh Can you imagine goodness. you see a six year old no. driving down the street? <laughs> yeah. How could they even spot her? She would have been so true. small. How did she reach the barely pedal? reach? Okay, Kids go figure, figure it out. Yeah. You know what else I noticed? That video makes me cold watching all it those does. snowflakes come it down. It does. It makes me cold right? too. Yeah, <laughs> very cold. It's all very cold. Yeah. And then we're talking about things getting cold. Yeah. Anyway, so. And we're talking about snowflakes on our radar, literally, wow. in a matter of a few days. Really okay. low elevation snow. So around, really? Yeah, like three, 4,000 feet a little later in the week. So uh, get ready for that. Get ready for a little bit of rain. And get ready for that fog. It's already starting to roll into the forecast as we speak. We did have an advisory. It's been lifted. Downtown 52 in Laguna Beach, 53 degrees. Take a look right here. Increasing cloud cover, dense fog, cooler temperatures, a chance of rain and snow ahead in the forecast. In fact, snow levels dropping off to about three, 4,000 feet as we head toward the later part of the week. Earlier today, we were above average. By tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be below average temperature wise and you'll see that right here 60s predominantly and as we head into the next few days we're expecting some 50s potentially in the forecast not for the basin in Orange County but you will see a chance of drizzle and by Friday a chance of showers widespread with temperatures dropping to 60 for the coast we're in the 50s drizzle by Thursday chance of showers by Friday and drier by the time we hit the weekend and same thing goes for the valleys in the Inland Empire Lena and Sylvia back to you and we're bracing for some changes in the forecast. We'll let you know what they are coming up. Letter word creeping in the fog creeping into the forecast as well. Let's get a look outside right now and we can barely tell. This is time lapse video actually of downtown and this is what happened earlier today. The fog came up. You could barely even see the tops of the buildings earlier today in the basin again in downtown. Then things kind of subsided a little bit. Even in Orange County where we saw a fog advisory, it was lifted, but we're still looking at dense fog in the forecast regardless, even though things have mixed out just a bit. We do have increasing cloud cover out there, cooler temperatures and a chance of, yes, rain and snow, low elevation snow ahead three to four thousand feet potentially temperature wise we were above average today at 70 will be a little below average by tomorrow over the next 24 hours and temperatures are topping out into the 60s 69 in Riverside Irvine 65 and Oxnard getting up to 61 degrees by tomorrow afternoon for the basin Orange County 60s turning to low 60s with a chance of drizzle even showers by Friday with a drier forecast by Saturday for the coast 60s turning to 50s as well with a chance of showers by the end of the week and same thing goes for the valleys in the Inland Empire you're going to see 60s turning to 50s by your Friday and Saturday with a chance of drizzle Thursday and a chance of showers Friday. Rick and Sharon, back to you. Okay. All right, Evelyn? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Rain on the way. And for now, Pat and Paul, we've got fog in the forecast. As we take you outside to the Santa Monica Pier, you're going to see a little bit of it. We actually did see a dense fog advisory earlier tonight for Orange County. It's been lifted, but doesn't mean that we're not going to see the fog out there. Currently, temperatures are in the 40s and the 50s. 51 Pasadena, 52 in downtown, and 51 for Anaheim. So here's the drill. We've got increasing cloud cover. We do have some dense fog in the forecast, cooler temperatures along the way, and a chance of rain and low elevation snow ahead as well. Earlier today, we were above average for this time of year, and over the next 24 hours, we're actually going to be below average. We're getting to 65 for downtown, Riverside 69, Lancaster 69, and Oxnard 61 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. As we get a look at your five day forecast right here, you're going to see your microclimate forecast showing you 60s tomorrow, and we will see a mix of clouds and sun by the afternoon. By Wednesday, mostly cloudy. By Thursday, a chance of drizzle. By Friday, a chance of widespread showers at this point. And by Saturday, we are looking at a drier forecast. And also worth the mention, snow levels dropping to around three, even 4,000 feet as we head to Thursday night. And we could see the snow last through your Saturday morning. Pat and Paul, 
back to you.